Went to the schoolhouse, everything. Yeah, that kind of stuff going on. You know what I mean? So come back to school. Coach is like, hey, we don't think you need to play football no more. And I was like, man, what really wants to play? Really wants to play. She was like, well, we'll see in practice. If anything happens in practice, then we can't play. So we'll just see let you practice and see how it goes. This is in the freshman year. This is two a days in my freshman year. So, going through the year, your boy had no other issues. And your boy has a decent year. I'm pretty good. I ain't bad. I'm playing cone. You know what I mean? They put me in the cone. So my, my, uh, my idol is Deion Sanders. I'm loving Deion. I watch Deion. I start doing what Deion do all day. And fast forward a couple of years to my senior year, and I have a, and I'm not being recruited by anybody or anything like that. I just like to play. I'm decent in school, but I ain't great. And I, I probably ain't got no chance to really get no, no academic scholarship going to go into college. And I got the seizure thing going on. So it ain't really looking good, but I like to play ball. Right? I just like to play ball. Anybody just like to, like to do something? Anybody got anything I just like to do? That it's just really it's fun for y'all to do? You know what I mean? You just like to do. I don't really get nothing out of it. I just like to do. I like to play ball. So I have a, a, my first game of my senior year in Side Creek. Dude, I have the greatest game of all time. I have a great game. All the work I've been putting in over the years, working my tail off, staying after school, running stairs, hitting it hard, all the work I told you about four in the morning pays off. Your boy, Rex Shot. I'm talking about all-time great game. I'm like Michael Dick out here, though. I'm cold. I'm like, great, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a beast. I had three touchdowns, two of them on interceptions, one I caught, man, I was just a beast. I was literally, I was the best player on the field at the time. It was the best student in the world to me. Turns out it was some scouts at the game. Checked your boy out, I was like, you know what? Oh, I kind of like it. Hey, you know what I mean? And I got some letters after that. My best friend, Drew Sam, was also playing on the team. He ended up going Notre Dame. He was the best player, he was the best safety in the country at the time. They were there watching him, they saw me. Um, at the time, the Houston Chronicle prints a story about your boy having seizures. So now it's a public, it's a public thing. Because it's a big story. They were like, hey, the boy had this game, and this is what he's going through, boom, boom. So I was like, man, I probably won't even get recruited. Ends up going through the year, your boy has a good year. Ends up being recruited by all the schools. And, uh, you know, Texas said, so we don't care about your issue, your disorder. We still want you. Go to Texas. End up coming to Texas, it's the best decision I ever made. I had to choose between Florida State, Texas, Colorado, AM, and Penn State. Yeah, I don't know who's Penn State, that would be crazy. But I ended up choosing Texas. It was out of Texas and Texas AM. I ended up choosing Texas. And it was the best decision I ever made. I came here to Austin, and you know, I ended up starting my sophomore year. I worked my tail off. Honestly, I'll be real with you, didn't go to class much. I didn't go to class much because I was there to play ball. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't take advantage of all the opportunities that were given to me. I went enough to pass, but I didn't go enough to excel like I should have been. I'll tell you about that later. But anyway, end up going to UT, I'm playing ball, I'm worried about ball, and I end up balling. I end up playing, I mean, I'm, I'm balling, because it's all that matters to me. I wanted to be successful more than anything. I had an opportunity. I had worked hard enough, and I had an opportunity to I not only excel, but to get out the hood once and for all. I took it. So I worked. I worked. Some of y'all ain't listening to me. I work. I work day, night. Some of y'all want to sleep. Y'all want to eat. Go to parties. I took advantage of that. And I outworked it. When everybody was out partying and sleeping and eating, I worked. Do you understand me? Y'all don't. Y'all got work. I know you don't get it. And that's why most of y'all will fulfill y'all dreams. 
Because you ain't doing the work, dog. I worked. I worked so hard, dog. It consumed me. I wanted it. Um, that's my first secret to you. You can outwork them. Listen to me, dog. Look at me in my eyes, dog. Look at me in my eyes. I know you ain't listening. I know you ain't listening. Because I was from the hood just like you. You get out work. The truth is, most of y'all not willing to do it. Most of y'all willing to go to parties. You gonna wanna get some sleep because you're gonna be tired. And you gonna wanna go eat and hang out and look good. And I got past that. And that's the truth. And it's all good. I ain't tripping. I guess that's just the truth. I take advantage of what all y'all and what everybody out there don't understand. Because I didn't have no exceptional skill. I wasn't blessed with great gifts. Like some of y'all, I was given a bad hand. I had outworked. I, I, at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I was outworking. I still don't sleep. There are times when I would come home with my girlfriend, she's like, what did you eat today? And I was like, oh, I didn't eat. Because all I'm concerned about is being successful. Anybody know the parable about the guru and the kid? Who's heard the parable about the guru and the kid? Guru and the kid. There's this young man. He sees this guy rolling in a nice car, a beans, clean, big pot. He's like, y'all, he's walking in the hood. He said, dang, man, how you get that bean? Dude's like, man, you want to know the secret to how I got this bean? Pulls out a water can, see if y'all got this money. He said, man, go see my guru. He'll be on the beach in the morning. Get out there at 6 a.m. He'll be on the beach in the morning, go meet him. He'll give you the secret. Dude's like, already. How many of y'all will take that? Already. I want that, I want that big body thing. I want it. I want the check. I want it. Dude goes out here to the beach, meets up with the guru. Guru says, you the kid, I'm supposed to be mean. The kid says, yeah, uh, yeah, man, I want, listen, I want you to give me the secret to the cash. I want the money, man. What's up? He's in a nice suit. He's clean. Clean, dressed up, ready for some clean. You know what I mean? Looking good. He says, all right, man, I need you to go out there to the water. And I need you to go to the water until it's about waist deep. He says, what? You look clean. What you talking about? I ain't going into no water. He says, if you want to be successful, you will walk out there into that water until it's about waist deep. He was like, ah, I do want that cash. Oh, that big body bitch. He walks out there into the water until it's about waist deep. You know what I'm saying? Then she's like, ah, come on, guru, what's up? Now? Give me that secret. I said, I want that cash. I want that cash. She's like, all right, uh, I want you to walk out there further into the water until it's about shoulder, shoulder high. Get out there until it's about shoulder high. And then I'll come out there with you, then we'll talk about the secret to success. He said, you know what, man? I'm in my nice suit. I'm already, I'm already waist deep in. Let me go on out here to the shoulder high. And let me see what the dude's talking about, because I want to get it. I ain't got no other way to get it. I'm in the hood. I ain't got no way to get it. I'm going to go out here and do what he says so I can get it. I got to get it, y'all. How many of y'all want it back? Want the cash? Big house. Nice shoe. Nice clothes. He wanted just as bad as you wanted. So he said, I'm going to go out here to the shoulder high. He goes out here to the shoulder high. Then Guru comes out there and says, all right, you ready? Man? I'm going to give you a seat. You ready? He says, yeah. I said, I need you to go underwater. He says, what? He said, go underwater. He grabs the kid by his shoulders, and then he submerges him underwater. Underwater. And the dude is like, man, he's going crazy now. He figures the guy's trying to drown him out there. And when the kid can't take no more, he's about to drown, lose all his breath, he brings him up. He says, man, what, what, what was up with all that? Man, why you put your foot in the water like that? He says, 
day. That's the secret. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you will be successful. You got to want it that bad. Anybody ever have their hair knocked out of them? Anybody have their hair knocked out of them? Anybody have their hair Like it's not your thing. Can't breathe. All you want to do is breathe. At that moment, you ain't worried about no party, no Twitter, no Facebook. You don't care about nothing. All you want to do is breathe. And you got to want it that bad. That's the secret. You got to want it bad. You got to want it bad. If you want it bad, you are worth the competition. That's the only thing I had going for me. You know, I still got it for Real quick, man, what's your league? Got drafted by the New York Giants. 123rd overall. 123rd overall. Fourth round. I ain't go where I want to go. You know I want to go first round. Because uh, I was trying to get the boom. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to break. Got drafted in the fourth round. Went to the NFL with the Giants. Didn't work out. This is what starts happening when I hit the league. Everybody look at me right now. You ain't looking at me through that tie cut. I hit the lead and started having seizures again. First seizure I had was in the locker room in the shop. Separated my shoulder. Got hurt. Had another one in Detroit playing for the Lions on the freeway. Navigator flipped over seven times. Seven times, seven times. I got arrested. They arrested me because they thought I was drunk and I, was, and I, was, I had a seizure. And I separated my shoulder. Because they had my man right. Anybody ever been in Detroit jail? Man, Detroit is a bad jail. So a lot of bad things happen. I started having seizures again. I go to a top neurologist in the country. She said she don't know why. I'm she don't understand. You be stressed from it, nobody. So my NFL career cut short. It's done. And I'm devastated. One thing I want to do all my life, done. I'm 20, 27 years old. Done. I ain't even graduated from college. I left college early because I wanted to go to the league. You know what I mean? So I will. I hit the dark time of my a lot. I don't spare y'all the details. It got ugly for me. So I decided to go back to school. I was like, you know what? Go back to school. Go back to school, go back to UT, get my degree. Now I gotta figure out another hustle. Find something else, something good. And that's my second lesson. Other than outworking your competition. Find out what you good at. Some of y'all good at, you got a good mouthpiece, so you can talk. Talk to girls, talk to teeth, get out of this. Find out what you good at. I can run fast, I can talk fast, I make careers out of it. Now I'm a talk show radio host. We'll show AM 1300 is all for you to sell everything. They pay me to talk. Which is crazy. Don't make no sense to me neither. I still doing it. I don't know why they doing it. They will pay you to talk. I'm telling you, there's so many jobs and opportunities. If you think there's something that you like doing right now, they won't pay you for it. Crazy. They'll pay you for it. They'll pay you for it. I had no idea they would pay me just to go on the radio and talk every day about food. I just talk every day. That's it. What I'm doing right now, I do it every day, and they pay me for it. If you got something you like to do, and you want to do it, somebody out there will pay you for it. I'm telling you, man, and pay you nice if you're good at it. And the only thing it takes to be good at it is to fuck it. I'm, I've been on this show for four years now. I had mean, like, it ain't like five or six people fired around me. Four years. You wanna know why? You think I know something about radio? I don't know nothing about radio. I listen to other people do radio, imitate them, and I work. I 
I stay up all night, they won't. They want to know me, I don't. The same principles I applied to make it in the NFL help me make it in this radio thing. I still don't know nothing about the business. But the principles are all the same. And it, it applies to every, it's got to apply to everything. If I can do it in the NFL and not do it in radio, it's got to apply to everything. Outwork your competition. Outwork them. And find out what you do. It's got to work everywhere. If, I, if I work, I've done two things in my life, it's got to work everywhere. And in the meantime, I worked at Academy and UPS after I got out of the league. After I got out of the league, I sold shoes at a cat. And you know what? I was a beast at it. Man, you put the steel shoes. I didn't even know. Because it comes from a time where you had to humble yourself. I had to do it. I got out of the league. I had to sell shoes. I had to pack. I had to pack UPS trucks. Because I asked my pops, I was like, Pop, what should I do now? Y'all think he's like, boy, go to work. Now you ask me what you should do. Boy, go to work. Like, I did go to work. I went to work and I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that work. I'm going to school. Because I don't want to do that work. And if you don't want to do that work, you can go to work. You work smarter, you work harder. So you got to get educated to do it. Three lessons to the entire thing. I'm with the competition. All right? Find out what you're good at. And get educated. Three things I did in both facets of my life, and it's worked out for me. I'm not special. I'm not special. I'm telling you, I just told you everything. I ain't tell you everything. Because it's PG-13. You read our version, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. But I'm telling you, man, I ain't special, though. Y'all, some of y'all are special. But I wasn't. I still did it. I know he did it. My boy Brooks. I don't know if they know Brooks. They don't know Brooks yet. Dude, my boy Brooks again. You know Brooks? Oh, he might be special. My boy Brooks again. He's on one more network right now. If you got the whole network, if I got the whole network at home, you can watch it, you can watch it. My Brooks, watch it. He gets the same thing I did. He like mine. The roommates now. This is my dog, because he like mine. Because we acted, we went up, fall from grace, and coming back up. Man, I'm telling you, I'm not special. I just want the young people to know that they can do it. I know some of y'all are like, man, I only got to do it. Yeah, you can, you know? Yes, you can. I'm going to write it down. I ain't got no real talent. I can talk fast, I can run fast. I can make money off of it. I'm going to continue to. I'll probably get five minutes job and find another up. And I'll be fine. Because I know the principles that apply. Get educated, I'll work them, find out what to do. I'm done.